hey there how is it going my name is destiny and welcome back to my channel so in the last video we went ahead and walked to the list view here in python and with that we were able to list out all our questions here on the front end from the back end and as you can see it's looking pretty good and we also configured this over here that automatically detects the user that posted um, each questions and we also went ahead to implement the date functions so that it will capture the date whenever the user posts a question and I Apart from that, the last thing we did was go ahead and add a truncate function to our to our file over here, to our views.py file that deals with the contents of the file. For example, you see this reverse inventory order. If you're following from the last video, you would know that it was a really long word, but we cost it just to 10 words and added the read more button over here. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and make all these buttons functional so that when a user click on these buttons, it's gonna take them to the detail page of each and every one of the posts so let's go ahead and start working with that now what we want to do is just get back to um, our visual studio code and let me just close this share over here the terminal I'm just closing it off now the next thing you want to do is open up your stack base and we're gonna open up views.py so as you can see now we have created question lists but we want to go ahead and import the detail view from here so we're gonna import detail view now we want to create another one so this one is gonna be class and and we're gonna set it to question detail view so you could just copy this one over here or let me just copy everything that we have over here for now I'm gonna paste it down there like that so all I just need to do is change this to question detail view and over here so I'm gonna change this to detail view so I think this is pretty much what I want to do all I need to do now is just get rid of this two just like that and now we are done with the view all we did here we just import this detail view um, from django.views.generic then we created a new class for it and pass in detail view then we call the model that we want to use which is the question model and as you can see we have imported it already from from dot models okay the next thing i want to do is go ahead and open up the urls.py file then we want to create um want to create a url for it so this url is going to be a dynamic one and the way we're going to create this is is in a way such that when a user clicks on this it would automatically detect um if it's the first question and it would automatically go into the database and get everything that has to do with the first question and redirects them to the details page i know this might be a lot to take in but don't worry when i explain this you definitely find it's easy so let's just go ahead and work on it and maybe you will understand so we want to go over to question questions then there's going to be a slash then i want to open up two angle brackets and i'm passing an integer pk now i'm still going to explain what all this does so what this would do is very simple it's simply going to get um, all the questions for example it's going to get all those questions over here then what this code over here this int pk is going to do is it's going to like manually detect the number like the primary key that a question has for example this is the first one this integer over here is what is going to tell us okay he want to grab the first question so that's what this code over here is doing and to furthermore explain this I'm gonna open up my admin page let me open up my admin page and explain it a little bit more so you could understand what I'm trying to say and I think there's something wrong with my with my URLs let me just get rid of this I'm just gonna comment it out for now and let's reload this okay it's running fine now now all we just need to do is log in and over to the questions um question model now if we come over to this one if you open this up just take a close look at the url what do you notice you see they came over to question then they came over to one so this is the index number that identifies this question that this user asks this question who in kiosk computer blah 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 so it's this index number over here that identifies this particular question so let's try again over to the next question what do you notice you can see two over here so when this two is called okay let me just change this to three and as you can see it changes to another question hopefully you understand what i'm trying to say let's change this to four and as you can see there is okay let's see let's see this is this is the fourth question okay okay it wasn't four let me change this to five so you can see Okay, it says question ID with five does not exist. Perhaps it was deleted. Okay, okay, question ID with five yeah, um, isn't there any longer. Okay, it's just six that we have. So as you can see, this um, numbers over here, they are called primary key. So they are what helps us identify each 
post each question post in our database so what you want to do is very simple in the url we're going to call questions then we're going to call whatever primary key hopefully you understand what it does now so the next thing we're going to do is um call views dots the model that we created sorry the class that we created and if you remember it's question detail view and in order to initiate it we're going to use the dots as view method and i think that's pretty much what i want to do we just need to pass in name and we're going to pass in the same thing over here let me just grab it and i'm going to put in here just like that and let's make sure we are fixing the spelling it's question and not question so this is going to be question detail is going to be question list okay i think that's pretty much what we want to do let's just get over to our website and let's try navigating to the index number one and what do you notice this page dot found hopefully you when you come over to our url you see that we went over to slash questions firstly so we need to come over to slash questions just like that then we need to come over to slash any primary key that we want to use as an integer so this int over here means that it would be a number str means that it would be um, a text let's say you want to pass the text so that's what um, that's gonna do over there but for now that's not gonna work so I'm just gonna change this back to integer okay so we come over to questions then we come over to slash one and as you can see it's working perfectly fine so the error we are getting over here is just a template error and it says template does not exist at this part so we need to create a template just very very close to our question on the score list the HTML so I'm simply just gonna copy this and let me just make sure that um, I'm getting it correctly then I'm gonna come over to the templates open up the stack base I don't want to create a new file over here I'm just gonna paste in what I copied and hit enter on my keyboard so it is now I think that's pretty much what we want to do when we come over here now I refresh again as you can see we just get a blank page and let's say um, I want to just call um, detail page over here as you can see it will show the, it will show up here detail page okay I actually got a spelling wrong okay so I already told you guys that we have all the templates that we'll be using for this course so you don't have to watch me build it out from scratch now when we come over here you can see that we have the um, I think it should be okay it's, it's not over here it's in the stack based template then it's called uh, question it's called detail so I'm just gonna open this up and this is how it's looking right now what I'm just gonna do is um, I'm gonna uh, view page source and I'm just simply gonna copy the, all the code over here and uh, let's let's um, get rid of the line wrap so I'm gonna copy all the code and just paste it in here as simple as that now let's get back to our website and let's refresh and let's see what we have now okay as you can see it's working fine now it says invalid blocks block tag on line 147 so over here we have an invalid block tag so let's go ahead and see what we have um firstly we do not have an extent so i think we could just copy from any of this so let me just copy from this one over here I'm just gonna copy from there I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna paste it just like that so now when we come over here now I refresh what do you notice okay it works fine but there's just a problem it says reverse for like underscore post is not found and that's because in when I actually started building this um, I used the like post URL that would actually help us like post but for now you know that we don't have anything that's um, actually gonna help us do all that and it still shows up there so it's gonna conflict why simply want to do is just get rid of all other url over here so from beginning i'm going to explain what they do so i'm just going to get rid of all um all the urls over here let me just highlight every other thing just like that i'm going to get rid of it and also this one i'm going to get rid of it let's also say this one we're going to say bye to it and finally this it's going to go um let's see okay and i think we need to also correct this let me see this one that says like on a scope post not found okay i think this is it over here i'm just gonna get rid of everything that's in here and i think we might get um some more url errors okay okay it's it's working fine not bad but i think all this over here that we haven't actually created urls for we're supposed to show errors but um whatever when this shows the error we're gonna fix it okay as you can see we have this over here now not bad and as you can see it automatically detects the um, user that asks the particular question so when i come over to slash four what do you notice it says tom so it automatically detects the user but right now it's not listing out any of the content it's not listing out any of the the content that the user has actually imputed in the in the question field for example it's not including the title let's just go over here and see 
okay as you can see it's not including the title it's not including the content and all that so it's just including only the dates posted and the asked by now let's go ahead and fix that okay so right now what we are doing over here is very simple we don't need to loop over all the questions in our database and list them out what you simply want to do is just whenever a user click on this now then they're going to take them to another page that's going to show the full title the full content of the the question so that's what we want to do and in order to do that it's quite simple you can remember from the question list what we actually um did was just call a, a for loop over here so as you can see we say it for question in questions but this time around we don't have to do that what we have to do over here is very simple so let's see if if we say um question um question that's title now and we refresh this I actually want to explain something what do you notice it actually didn't work fine okay we get in this let's see what it says it says invalid block tag online 94 questions that expected end block okay let's see um if the end block is actually um getting initiated okay it's actually dead um let's see okay over here we supposed to pass in the title let's let me just get back here and over here so what we need to do is quite simple what we need to say is um just call a variable this time around we don't need any double coily brackets and when we say question dot title now when we refresh this over here what do you notice it actually brings out the the question for us sorry the question title instead it actually brings it up for us and that's that's quite good and why are we using question over here that's because in our views.py as you can see we are we are we are querying a model question and for more information you can also use a context object name over here for example let me just get back and let's say i want to use a context object name and let's say i want to name this hello hello i'm just going to name it anything for now now when we copy this come over here and we replace this with hello now let's refresh this what do you notice it still works perfectly fine so context object name are just like what do you want to um use to reference your views in your template so let's say i want to say hello to double o or a p now when i refresh this what do you notice the title is gone so this hello over here is simply based off of whatever that's in our views.py so for now we're just gonna um, not stick with the with the context object name because we're trying to make our code look quite neat you know so with this now we got a question now let's also go, get the question contents so this is the question title now we need the question content in here and to do that okay i'm just gonna get rid of this comment that i added over here i'm just gonna get rid of it i'm gonna open up double curly brackets just like that so this time around i'm gonna say question dot content so question dot content now when we refresh what do you notice as you can see we get um everything that's actually in the content Contents and when we were over here, as you can see, it's quite short. Okay, let's get over to this one. Let's see which one is actually that. I think that should be the 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 latest one. Yeah, this should be the latest one. Okay, this is actually the first one. Yeah. So as you can see over here, um, it's actually um pretty short the content. But now when we come over to slash one and hit enter, as you can see, it displays everything in full. So this is actually um nice, not bad. So what we want to do now is very simple. Let's just go ahead and um route URLs over here in the question list, so that whenever we click on any of this or this, it will simply take us to the detail page. So we don't have to manually do it from the URL there okay so in order to do this you want to come back to your question underscore list dot html and we need to locate where this um, title is and i think let's just manually look for it i think this is it over here yeah that's it um okay now let's say i want to add a hash to it now when we refresh this come over here okay as you can see it's showing hash over here just look somewhere here it's showing hash so that's where we want to add the the url now we're going to open up that and we're going to say url and we're going to call stack base stack base with a column and it's going to be um um question dash detail and in order to confirm um all you, all you need to do is just come over to your urls the part and make sure that this is it so i'm just going to copy this two over here i'm just going to copy it and i'm going to come over to question list and let's just paste it over there 
Now, finally, when we come over here in our refresh, it's actually showing, okay, reverse for question that's detailed with no argument found. Okay, we are getting this error simply because um, we actually need to tell Django that, hey, we are trying to access a particular question, not all the questions at once. So when we click on a particular title, we want to access a particular question. Let me see if I can go back to that page. Let's see. Okay, um, over here, then slash questions. No. Yeah, okay, we're getting this error on the page. So what we need to simply need to do over here is call object dot dot id now when we refresh over here what do you notice we are still getting this error let's see let's see okay how about we rather use question dot id now when we refresh what do you notice it works perfectly fine now when we hover on this just take a close look at the url that shows up down here as you can see the the black url 10 with the um, black background now see when we hover on it it shows um, put 8,000 slash question with an index number of six. Now let's hover on this one. As you can see, index number of four. So I will click on this now. It takes us to the detail page. Hopefully you understand where we can help the user out with your question. So I will click on this. It takes us to the page. And let's try clicking on another one. This, and it takes us to the page. And there's one really, really long one. I think it should be this one. Okay, as you can see, this is it. It takes us to the page. So finally, what we want to do is also configure the same thing for this read more over here. Now, I can easily just copy this that we have already instead of just typing it out from beginning and i'm just gonna paste it in there so when we refresh this now we can just click on read more from any other one read more read more and it opens it up read more and it opens it up okay as simple as that if you are getting more creative you could do whatever you want let's say you want to change this to view view or yeah let's say answer question answer question and you get this okay whatever you want well i think i prefer read more so let's just leave read more hey guys that should be pretty much it for this video and hopefully you learned how to use the detail view here in django and it was quite fun so i don't want to make this video so long and lengthy that's going to get you guys bored and i'm just going to end it off here in the next one we're going to go ahead and start working with the crates view and trust me it's really going to be fun i hope i'll see you guys in the next video mad love peace out